this video, I will tell you about the polygon command in AutoCAD. The polygon command can be used to draw polygons, as you see on the screen right now. What we call a polygon here is anything that has more than one diagonal line. It can be a triangle and can go up to 8, 10 or 20 corners. Located under the Home tab in the Draw panel, as you can see in the Rectangle group, we can use the Polygon command to create a polygon. Right now, there are two different polygons drawn with two different methods. What's important here is this. We need to understand this very well in order to be able to draw polygons comfortably. One of them is to create an object from its lateral surface, and the other is to hold it from this diagonal point and to draw a polygon. Here, when we activate the polygon command, the first question it asks us is this, as you see now on the screen. How many corners should it have? I want to draw a hexagon. I type in 6 and press enter. Now we set a starting point and then it offers me two different options. I simplified these as the I and C options. The I option is easier to memorize. In the I method, you grab the edge of a diagonal line and create a polygon. In the C method, however, we select the lateral surface of a circle or a polygon in order to create a polygon. We will see the difference very soon. In the I method, as you can see, the edge of my cursor grabs the edge point of the polygon. I need to set a measurement here. For example, I said 150. It's quite small. Let's zoom in. You can see that the measurement from the center point to the edge is 150 units. Now, let's go to the side and create another polygon. Let's say a hexagon, press enter, we set a center point here, and use the C method. As you can see, it grabs it from the lateral surface. I type 150 and press enter. As you can see, a much longer measurement is now on my screen. The lengths from the center point to these two points are different, so we have two different methods. Those of you working with machinery and mechanics might understand this as the wrench flat method of the polygon. Here, we can say that the distance to the lateral surface is half of the distance between these two lateral surfaces. So, one of them, as you can see in this method, we use the tangent points of the circle to draw a polygon. And on the other side, since we grab the diagonal, we draw a polygon that's fit into the circle that fits into the circle. We can give more examples here. After activating the polygon command, we can type in 8 for example and press enter and set a center point, select I, grab the diagonal and create the polygon. We have another feature here. If we want to draw a polygon, let's say a hexagon and press enter. As soon as we enter the command, before setting a center point, we can create a polygon of which we only know the edge length using the edge method. We only need to know how many edges the polygon should have and to set the length of the edge. By clicking here, as you can see, we set an edge length and automatically create a polygon with a set height and other features. We can access the polygon command by typing polygon into the command bar and after that point we can activate the polygon command. We can create the polygon by using the standard methods. In this video, I told you about the polygon command in AutoCAD. We hope to see you in another video.